Come here. Whew, we're almost there. Very soon, you'll be able to create this style of content without stepping in front of a camera. We've just entered a new phase of AI video generation, and the results are phenomenal. With a single prompt, you can now create something like this. I'm about to take an ice bath in the coldest place on the planet. The speech, sound effects, background music, and even camera movements were all generated using Google's game-changing video tool, VO3. You've probably heard of it already, but I can confirm, the hype is real. It set a new standard that other video generators like Kling AI, Minimax, Luma Dream Machine, and OpenAI's Sora will now have to match. While it's not perfect, they've done a pretty good job with the physics. In fact, the typical character morphing that we usually see with other video generators is considerably less and almost non-existent in the case of scenes that don't require excessive movement from the character. Just take a look at some of these demos. The details are remarkable, and honestly, no other video generator can match right now. Not only that, they've now made it possible to create your own character and blend them perfectly inside any scenes you want. And this doesn't only apply to realistic videos. 3D animation style videos are now on another level. Instead of the slow moving characters, you can actually create clips that could pass for professional animations. But simply knowing what you want isn't enough, as you need to give the AI the right prompt to create your scene. But no need to worry as I've created a prompt that will help simplify the process. Let me show you how. First, you need to head over to this website. I'll leave a link in the description. Hit this button to sign in with your Gmail. If you're presented with this pop-up, simply go ahead and hit Next, scroll down to the bottom of this policy agreement, and then select Continue. You'll be presented with this screen. Simply hit Subscribe and choose your package. As you can see from here, they offer two packages, the Pro and Ultra plans. But no need to worry if you just want to test the tool. They give users a free one-month subscription to the Pro plan, after which they will charge you. But you can simply cancel the plan before the one month is up to avoid getting charged by mistake. They'll also send you a message to alert you that your trial is coming to an end, so you can decide whether you want to cancel your subscription or not. Once you're done, hit this Go to Flow button and create a new project. Now this is what the interface looks like. It's quite similar to other video generators out there. You'll notice that there are three options when you click this. You have text to video, frames to video, and ingredients to video. The last one is only available to users on the Ultra Plan, so we won't be able to test that. But I'll show you everything you need to get started creating your scenes with the other two. First, let's try the text to video. Next, you need to select this icon and choose the number of output. We don't have a lot of credit, so one works just fine. There are three models that you can choose from as well. The first two all use the VO2 model, while the last one uses their latest VO3. The fast VO2 model doesn't take much credit. As you can see from here, it only takes 10 credits for a single generation, but both the quality VO2 and 3 models cost 100 credits per generation. This is very important, so you need to keep it in mind while creating your videos. After all, you only get 1,000 credits for the Pro Plan, so you can only generate 10 videos with VO3. You'll need the Ultra Plan if you want to generate more. However, this is just an opportunity to test the tool and decide whether it's worth it. Also, it's possible things may change as other AI tools strive to catch up. Now, just for a test, I've written this simple prompt of a woman cutting onions in the kitchen. Then she says these words. I didn't make it very descriptive. Let's wait and see the results. VO3 typically takes about 30 seconds to a minute based on my experience. But once it's done, hit this download button and select 720p aspect ratio. They have 1080p, but it always gives me an error after waiting for a while. I'm sure it'll be fixed soon if it's not from my end. Now let's check out our video. Come here, we're almost there. And very soon you'll be able to create this style of content. It came out all right and could possibly pass for the real thing if you don't take a closer look. The only real issue I have with it is that the character didn't finish her phrase. I could shorten it, but I really want her to repeat the full line, so I'll try again. Come here. Whew, we're almost there. Very soon, you'll be able to create this style of content without stepping in front of a camera. Our character finished the phrase this time around, so it's time to create something a bit more detailed. Instead of going through the trouble of crafting the prompt myself, I've created a prompt that will help with this process. So I'll head over to this Google Doc and copy this entire prompt. Oh, and I'll be leaving a link to the Google Doc in the description of this video. Once you've copied the prompt, head over to ChatGPT and paste it. You don't need to make any changes to the prompt. Simply hit enter and wait for the response from the AI. As you can see, it's asking for the character's details. So if you want more than one character in your scene, go ahead and specify them. It doesn't matter whether they're human, animals, or any other characters. I want to test whether the tool will generate scenes with copyrighted characters, so I'll go with Thanos from Avengers. Now it's asking for the character's emotional state, clothing, and what he's holding. I'm going to specify his armor and the Infinity Gauntlet. 
Next, I'm going to specify day for the time and battlefield for the scene. I don't have anything specific in mind for the battlefield scene, so I'll let the AI guess this part. For the camera angle, a close-up shot seems great for this scene, so I'll add that. The AI is now asking for sounds or music. VO3 does a good job with the sounds even without specifying, so I'm not going to include it inside the prompt. But in case you're creating your scene, feel free to add something yourself or simply ask the AI to guess for you, based on all the details you've provided. The final step is to specify what you want the characters to say. In this case, I simply want Thanos to say this popular phrase and then proceed to snap his fingers. As you can see, ChatGPT has given us a slightly more detailed prompt for the scene. I recommend reading through to make sure everything is exactly how you want it. But once you're done with that, go back to the video generator. I want to test the prompt out first with VO2, so I'll select that and paste it. Wait about half a minute and let's check out the result. Looks like VO2 didn't have any issues generating the clip of Thanos, which is quite surprising, as most AI tools would usually return an error whenever you mention the name of a copyrighted character. The video itself doesn't look bad, so let's try creating it with VO3. I am inevitable. This time around, it generated a completely different character, but the voiceover and the scene are both alright. However, the finger snap part didn't go as expected. I'm sure it'll get it right after a few tries. I don't have much credit, so I'm going to try regenerating it once more. I am inevitable. This doesn't look bad as well, but didn't quite nail the last part. But let's move on. There's this very cool feature called Scene Builder that I want to show you. Let's choose the image of this woman cooking. Select Add to Scene, and now you can combine a bunch of them. In this case, I'm not going to add any random scene. I'm going to extend this particular one. The trick is to move this line to the last frame in your scene. Then hover over this plus icon, and you'll see this Save Frame as Asset pop up. Select that, and it'll add your chosen frame. If you look below, you'll notice that the video generator is showing Frame to Video. So select the image and type the action you want the character to perform. This will serve as a continuation of the first clip. I'll go with something like she's cutting tomatoes and adding them to the pan. This doesn't look too bad, but if you don't like it, you can hit this button to rearrange the clips or even remove the one you don't want. I'll try regenerating the clip. But this time, I want the character to say something. This looks alright, except for one issue. I noticed that audio doesn't seem to work inside the scene builder. This isn't limited to the audio not playing for the original clip, but even the new clips I generated from there don't have any audio or speech as well. I'm sure it'll be fixed soon, but for now, let's test the image to video with an image that wasn't generated by this AI. I'm going to upload this image of my avatar, add a simple description like this as well as a command for him to simply get up and walk out of the room. First, let's test this with VEO2. The character stands up alright, but everything else is a mess. Maybe a more descriptive prompt would help, but let's test the same prompt using VO3. The sound isn't too good, and frankly, I've seen better image-to-video generations of my avatar from other AI tools. So it looks like VO3 still isn't too good with image-to-video generation. I've created this other prompt of this scene, motivated by Dean Schneider. I can see you're tired, buddy. Get some rest. Also, check out some of these clips I made with this same tool. Time to take a break, husband. Your food is getting cold. He submitted another prompt. What does he want now? As you can see, the results from this tool are incredible. Hopefully the tool gets a 4K resolution export version soon. And frankly, if you can afford the Ultra subscription package, VEO3 is definitely worth the price. Now, if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, and see you in the next one.